From e-commerce websites to online ticketing portals, CAPTCHAs are everywhere helping protect the internet from spam. Now, CAPTCHAs or completely automated Turing test to tell computers and humans apart is a test designed to do exactly what it sounds like. It tells computers and humans apart. Back in the early days, CAPTCHAs used to work by giving you a distorted image of a number or a text and taking an input from you. Now, this approach was really difficult for the bots of the time to crack and it kept the internet spam free quite efficiently. In fact, it was because of this efficiency that captures immediately became very popular and were being solved by millions of people across the internet to access their content. Dr. Louis Van Orr, a consulting professor in the computer science department in the Carnegie Mellon University, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, reported in 2006 that around 200 million captures were being solved every day by people across the internet. Now, while captures were pretty efficient, they were also really easy and not to mention the bots had caught up by that time. That's when we needed reCAPTCHA. So instead of using words or random alphanumeric sequences, reCAPTCHA would now take a pair of words from old books that were recently digitized, which the computer obviously couldn't read. This was such a great innovation that Google bought reCAPTCHA in 2009. It used reCAPTCHA to archive books in its Google Books archive and even used it in Google Maps to help map street addresses directly. This time around, in CAPTCHA v2, designed by Google, all the users had to do was click a checkbox and the server will automatically detect whether you're a robot or not. Some v2 reCAPTCHAs also give you an additional set of images to look for a specific object which works on the exact same principle as v1. This is the variant you might have come across the internet the most. ReCAPTCHA v3, the latest version going around, runs as a script in the background and automatically decides whether a user is a human or a bot. Due to the better user experience, over 1.4 million websites are using ReCAPTCHA v3. That said, ReCAPTCHA v3 isn't perfect. You can still bypass it by using adaptive learning. Now, ReCAPTCHA v3 is a double-edged sword. While Google has worked really hard on enhancing the whole ReCAPTCHA experience, it also takes your data, both hardware and software information, and invades your privacy to provide that experience. Google in itself is also a double-edged sword because for the best-in-class services that it offers, it once again takes your data and too invades your privacy. But we have a video on that coming up soon enough. If you liked the video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up and tell us in the comments below if you've also been annoyed by recaptures. For more information on tech or cybersecurity, visit our website Canada Technology, follow us on social media at Canada Technology and we'll see you in the next video.